Hey, Shani from SpeedQBD.com. So we have the MF3 RS2. This is the second version of the MF3 RS. Let's take a look at it. So out of the box compared to the first one, it feels almost identical. I almost feel like these are a little more rounded, but I can't tell for sure. Looking at the top, you can see the biggest thing is that center. There's that ring around it, which a lot of cubes have for stability. Now I also have a third one here that is my magnetic MF3 RS version one, we'll call it now. So just turning it without any setup, it's quite sluggish. Let's do a little more breaking in. Tensions are kind of tight. Corner cutting is pretty good though. Eh, it might be a little bit too tight, which is odd for me to say. Let's take these pieces apart, look at the old version compared to this one. So this really does feel like a complete redesign. I mean, they look similar here, but I, they're actually completely different shaped pieces. This is almost similar to what the Yu Xiao is with that curve there. And these ends are actually different as well. As far as edges, yeah, that is completely different shape right there, which is not that common for edges for me to say that it's a completely different shape because edges are almost identical from one cube to another. So this cube is really dry right now and I'm gonna add just a little bit of lubrication to it and really try to break this thing in. I'm currently using Rain, which I think now is called Galaxy or Nebula, something like that, but it's the Speed Cube Shop lubrication. There we go. Now it's now it's starting to break in nicely. Okay, let's check out a solve. Let's actually get something going here. Not know that went to variation. Okay, a little bit slower behind the camera, but yeah, this feels more like a premium puzzle. This doesn't feel like something like this, which which honestly was just almost too flexible. And I had a hard time recommending this for someone starting out. It was just a bit too crazy. Definitely better once you add magnets had much more of a solid feel, much more of a solid structure to it. This feels much more premium. I could recommend this to a beginning cuber. Now I know what you might be wondering, how does this compare to the Little Magic? Well, I've got the Little Magic here. And as far as size, they're about the exact same. As far as look, they actually look pretty similar as well. Actually, this is my magnetic version. Let me get the non-magnetic one. Okay, here's the non-magnetic one. That might be a better comparison. So this one's been used a little bit more and broken in. Corner cutting does seem a little bit nicer on the Yushin Magic. This one though is definitely more rounded and bubbly. If I was just to go off the feeling of it, what I like the feeling of more, it might be the feeling of this one. The performance of the Yushin Magic might be a hair above, but when you talk about someone who's starting out, that fraction of a second is not really that big of a deal. So you might wanna go with the feeling of it. As far as shades too, this is the other big thing. The shades of the RS2 and the Little Magic, the RS2 definitely is a little bit nicer on that end as well. I think as far as solving, this might have a little bit nice performance, but like I said, that's just a fraction of a second. So this is the MF3 RS2. Is it an upgrade from the first one? Definitely. Is it a nice puzzle? Without a doubt. So thank you very much. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.